Yeah, it might be a little hard to beat yesterday. That was quite a day, but it's day two in Guatemala and the Rio Dulce. So we're gonna do a little exploring down the rivers here before we head off to the next destination. It looks pretty cool so far. Little lotus flowers. Look at all these lotus flowers. Isn't there lotus? It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's Riverboat Tours. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now we are out sailing on the second largest freshwater lake in Guatemala. You can see it right here. There's we are. There's where we are right there. There's the entrance where we ground all the barnacles off the keel yesterday. <laughs> and now we are heading across this freshwater lake to the other side to continue on with the river upstream to where the little towns and all the marinas are. Then you can see if we keep zooming out, uh, there is the biggest freshwater lake. And that's the one we'll be going to in the days following. Just a nice day to be out sailing and actually just under jib alone. But as you can see, it is a nice day on the water. It's clear skies, a little hazy though. I mean, but we're in the jungle basically, so I guess you gotta forgive a little haze, but no, it is beautiful. See everywhere we go, there's mangroves everywhere and uh, some bush just growing out of the water. There. There's no depth recordings for anywhere around here, so all we can do is kind of hope for the best. <laughs> Yellow's 80, I think.
Look at you all styling. New engine and everything. <laughs> we can fix that. <laughs> How are you? Hey. Mwah. Good to see you. How's it going? Hi. Welcome, stranger. That's good to be here. Look at you. Good to be yeah. Hey, how's it going, man? Lucas. How are you, buddy? Yeah, man. Everything good? How are you? How are you? How are you? Hey, why don't we try uh, one of the rooms? Let's go. I highly recommend you don't try and drink that. <laughs> Might look like a beer, but it's not. <laughs> Look at you all styling. Oh yeah, I thought they didn't get hurricanes here. <laughs> yeah. The fuck was that? A tornado? Totally, like so crazy. That was fucked up. Just got stuck in the middle of a bad, bad squall. It was insane. Are you okay? Are you okay? What's going on, huh? The companion way was open? Yeah. That's a big fail. We could do without that, huh? 
Holy crap. Haven't seen a storm like that in a long, long time. Full wind reversal, right there. 180 degrees. And you can see right there's where we dropped our anchor and fell back here, so then it pulled around and obviously dragged a little bit to reset in the reversal, but it hooked right there and has been there ever since. Fuck, nothing dry. <laughs> What? I was like, the good news is all the rain on the floor, all the water, made the tiki poop super easy to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> There's good news in every story, right? Oh man. Soaking, soaking wet. Hey tiki. But gotta tell you, man, just 105. <laughs> When we were sitting over there in that bar and I saw that squall come in, I was like, oh shit. And we just anchored the boat like two hours earlier. I was like, Mantis 105, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I was praying and uh, yeah, it wasn't unfounded. It did well. As you can see that reversal, that's good enough reason to want to know what kind of anchor you got on the bottom and that one held. So very thankful for that. Thank you, Mantis. Bloody lovely. <laughs>